Good stuff. Good stuff. <gasps> oh! Oh shit! Oh! Okay! Alright! That happened! Alright! How you doing, everybody? Welcome to the fucking ecosystem. Okay, we're playing now. This is happening. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Shit. Okay. All right. Note, this is an early demo. It's a bit short and... S this is really... It's not that loud. Okay. Okay. It's a bit short and simple, meant to give an idea of some of the basic systems in the game. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoy it. Ecosystem is a game about life. At its heart are evolving virtual organisms who grow from synthetic DNA and live in a physically simulated ocean. The fittest pass in their pass on their genes to their offspring, so over time, yada yada, evolution. So, this is a game. Begin. I guess I'll just do the tutorial. Alright, you go. Okay, that's how I can move. Good to know. Alright, so that's my map. Nursery is a shelter that can catch fertilized eggs and where the young can grow up safely. To build one, we'll need to modify the landscape. Open the terrain menu. Okay. Ooh. So we've got different materials. Raised terrain is already selected, as is the stone terrain type. Create a protected cove by painting steep banks onto the terrain with the left mouse button. A nursery needs to be protected from two sides. So an L or a U shape works well. Okay. So if I just... I want to make an archway. <gasps> oh! There we go. You've made your first nursery. Which, you can also select other terrain types, smooth the terrain, or dig into it. That's interesting. Okay, what do we got? We've got, um, pale reef, dark sand, red reef, sand, dark rock, yellow grass, muddy sand. Let's put some grass in here. Let's just kind of make this a little lower. Okay, another thing I want to do, I want to, like, build this out a bit. I want to build, like, a huge overhang here, so, like, it's very nice and sheltered. Now I want to put some yellow grass up in here. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's really nice. And maybe uh, fill this out just a little bit. And just like kind of have it spread out a bit. There we go, okay. Now to the creature creation menu. Well, what's F2? Ooh, plants! Okay, but three, we need plant creature creation. All right, the forager button should already be selected. Click in the nursery to seed some creatures. You can raise or lower the placement position with the mouse wheel. Place a lot, 10 or more, to get a good basis for a species. Place a lot, 10 or more, to create a good basis for a species. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's put some babies in here. One, two, three, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll just put a, we'll just put one, oh, not paused. Let's just put one here. There we go. Fish! Oh, it died. Wow, that is an ugly ass fish. Predator, filter feeder. Okay, so we need some plants. So let's put some plants in here. Oh, creating creatures costs life points. Your current life point count is displayed at the top left of the screen. The life point cost of an action is displayed below it in the menu. Okay. You earn more life points each time a creature eats a plant or an animal, and also when one survives into the next generation. What? 
the flying fuck is that thing? So, the cool thing about this uh, is the creatures... Oh, it's even telling me. Creatures have random physiology. <laughs> hey, you okay, bud? <laughs> creatures have random, completely random physiology and neurology, but evolution will make their descendants into talented swimmers. The first few generations will feed on nutrients in the water, but eventually they will become larger and switch to eating food you've placed for other creatures. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. There's a fish just swimming around. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Eventually, they'll become larger and switch to eating food you've placed or other creatures. Uh, you can cycle through creatures by clicking on the species names that appear in the legend below the mini-map. The Onsata? Oh. So this is a specific species that has ar ar arisen. And the others are miscellaneous species. All right. Good to know. You can cycle through creatures. Okay, so whatever has, like, a large number is clearly going to be displayed. Good to know. Okay, let's 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 play with this. Let's play with this. Okay. Food sources. You can see as many creatures in the long-term population depending on how much food there is. Let's place them now. Open the food source menu. Bam! What do we got? Hydrilla. And... Red fan coral, green tube sponge. So I guess I'll just select any of them and paint 30 to 40 onto the terrain by clicking and dragging with the left mouse button. I want to cover this entire thing with coral. Yeah, that's cool. How do I rotate? Is there a way to rotate? I want to cover this entire thing. Okay, so that's been created. Um, let's also put uh, some of... Well, not that stuff. I want something tall. Elephant grass? Oh, I'm out of nutrient points. Food sources that will be eaten will continue to grow back. So don't need to worry about replanting them. All right. Made a bunch of food sources. Whoa, what the hell is this thing? How do I, uh, terrain menu, food source, creatures, creature interaction menu. Creating food sources caught, oh, that guy died. Creating food, so oh, oh, oh god, that's unholy. It's kind of loud. Creating food sources costs nutrients. Your current nutrient count is displayed at the top left. The nutrient cost of a food is displayed below it in the menu. You earn more nutrients by completing milestones. Oh. Oh, shit! They've matured. So, a variety of food sources allows for more unique traits, but when two species compete over the same food source, one often drives the other extinct, so it's good to have most stuff. So... Let's... Uh, let's get some... Let's have them uh, survive on the elephant grass. The, uh, Yon Sata. Oh my lord, what is that thing? Chinlet? Oh my god. Uh, why does the Chinlet exist? Mating grounds is where the creatures go to fuck. To create one, open the terrain menu. Boop. Oh, Chinlet have matured. Uh... They will eat these guys. Okay. So the mating grounds are going to be like kind of over here-ish, I'm thinking. Select the mating grounds box five and then select foragers from the secondary menu that appears. Boop. Uh, mating grounds, grass, tall dark grass, tall grass. Uh, red reef. Dark Sand, Pale Reef. Which one's Mating Grounds? Fuck. I don't know how to do this. Wait, is it F4? Drag, boost, cull, ooh. F1. Which one's, oh, this one's Mating Grounds. Fuck. Okay, uh, for the 
foragers. Let's just go... This is your fuck space. Whoa. Oh shit, that's really pretty. Got a milestone! A forager species has established a foothold in your ecosystem. Fuck yeah, time to put some more plants. Let's put a fuckload of elephant grass in here. Just like. Well, that was it for nutrient points. All right, let's uh, let's go over here and uh, make some filter feeders. Because that's what I want. What spawns plankton? Explain! Oh. How do I cheat? I want nutrition points. I want to cheat nutrition points. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Oh, they're all dead. It takes four centuries to load, so bear with me. There we go. I already know how to play, so we're not going to worry about that. All right. We're going to start right here. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to make a hole in the ground. That's what we're going to do. By the way, the this is the demo for Ecosystem. There's a lot you can play with. The full version isn't quite out yet. Okay, so I'm going to create some uh, herbivores. Just going to go bam, 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 bam. All right, they need some mating grounds, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to uh, do two things. Pause first. And I'm going to create two specific food sources. I'm going to have... A Bam! Look at all that food you can eat, bitch! I love that, actually. That's really nice. Oh, that's super cool. What is that? Pondweed. I love that. That's so nice. That's really cool. Um, and I'm going to create some fucking places right here. Gonna create a fucking place. Place for fucking, that's what it is. Gonna use this place for fucking. Uh. All right, let's look at what horrible monstrosities have been. Whoa, you're swimming like crazy. Holy shit. You go, I'm -er -da 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 -da. Holy shit, you are booking it. You don't know where you're going, do you? All right, what else we got? Um, we got uh, that guy who's just kind of chilling. Oh my god, it's fucking adorable. I love it. I love it. I want it to survive. Oh, Amardenta have matured. Excellent. Um, I want the Amardenta to nom on... I want them to nom on the... those guys. Escatula. Excellent. Um, Escatula are going to eat these. Sweet. Interesting. Hey, my ecosystem has reached a high population. Isn't that great? It's not really going to do much for me, but we'll see. Caddis Brat seems to be doing pretty well. Goramber also seems to be doing pretty well. We'll see which one survives. It'll be whichever one eats the best. Look at all my fish. Look at all my fish. Look at all of the fish. Oh, jeez. These guys can't move very well. I kind of want to just leave this here for like a couple of hours and see what happens, you know? I love it says genetic disease anytime one of them glitches. <laughs> and it just kills them. The blade fish are... trying. Ugh. Are any of them, like, moving? Ooh, this one's getting somewhere. Eventually. Not doing a very good job. I'm 
Whoa, who are you? Whoa, dude! You're fucking booking it! They're trying their best. That's all we can really ask of them. Oh my god, you're still alive? Jeez. Uh, the blade fish don't appear to be eating anything. They appear to be desperately trying to go mate. Irumal have uh, matured, though. I think they died. Oh, there he is. Iramal. There's literally only one of you! These guys are doing great. Look at them. Just swimming around, having a grand old time. These guys can't go anywhere for shit. I'm gonna put new predators down in here. Well, it, I wish it were that easy, but actually their mating grounds are way over here. Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready? All right, that's my cue. I'm gonna have to sign off, y'all. Uh, so this was another fun look at uh, ecosystem, which I love. I think I'm gonna leave this open while I eat and just come back to it and see what happens. But um, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please go kick tomorrow's butt because if you don't, it's gonna kick yours and I can't wait to see you on the next adventure. And as always, oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs>